This video is about local max and min values for functions of two variables and their relationship to critical points. Recall that for a function f of x of one variable, we say that f has a local maximum at x equals a if f of a is bigger than or equal to f of x for all x near a, where near a means more precisely in an open interval around a. We say that f has a local minimum at x equals a if f of a is less than or equal to f of x for all x near a. So in this example, our function has a local maximum at x equals 1 and a local minimum at x equals 3. The definitions for functions of two variables are entirely analogous. So we say that f of x, y has a local maximum at a, b if f of a, b is greater than or equal to f of x, y for all points x, y near a, b where near AB means in an open disk centered at AB. We say that f of xy has a local minimum at AB if f of AB is less than or equal to f of xy for all points xy near AB. In this example, I've graphed the function z equals f of xy where f of x, y is cosine of x plus cosine of y. Points on the graph are color coded so that points with large z values are colored red and points with small z values are colored blue. We can see that this function has a local maximum at this peak that's colored red and local minimums at all of these valleys that are colored blue. The local maximum is at the point where x is 0 and y is 0, and this particular local min occurs at the point where x is pi and y is pi. Let me mention a bit of terminology. When we talk about a local max or min point, we mean the x, y, and z coordinates where the function has a local max or min, or sometimes just the x and y coordinates. However, when we talk about a local max or min value, then we're just talking about the z value, a single number. So in this example, since when I plug in 0 and 0 for x and y, I get a z value of 2, I can talk about the local maximum point of 0, 0, 2 or the local maximum value of 2. Recall that for a function f of x of one variable, a critical number is a number a in the domain of the function such that either f prime of a equals 0 or f prime of a does not exist. In this figure, 2 is a critical number because f prime of 2 is 0. And we also have critical numbers at about 4.5 and about 5.5 because f prime of 4.5 is 0 and f prime of 5.5 does not exist. Recall that for a function f of x of one variable, max and min points are related to critical numbers. If f of x has a local max or min at x equals a, then x is necessarily a critical number. That is, the derivative at x equals a has to either be 0 or not exist. However, if a is a critical number, then f of x may or may not have a maximum or minimum at a. For example, when we look at the graph of y equals x cubed, there is a critical number at x equals 0, since the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and 3x squared is 0 when x is 0. But there is no local max or min at x equals 0. So that shows that if a is a critical number, f of x may not have a local max or min at a. 
The situation is very similar for functions of two variables. If f of xy is a function of two variables, the point AB is called a critical point. If either, the partial derivatives f sub x at AB and f sub y at AB are both zero, or f sub x at AB or f sub y at AB do not exist. Max and min points are related to critical points in the same way as before. Please pause the video and circle the correct phrase to complete each of these sentences. If f of xy has a local max or local min at AB, then AB must be a critical point. But if AB is a critical point, then f of xy may or may not have a maximum or minimum at AB. Let's look at the figure to gain some understanding of why the first statement is true. If f has a local max or min at a point, for example, this local min here, then if we intersect the surface with a vertical plane that goes parallel to the xz plane, that gives us a curve that goes in the x direction, and that curve has a local min here. Therefore, from calculus one, this curve will have to have a first derivative that's zero or does not exist. But that first derivative is just f sub x at a, b. Similarly, if we intersect our surface with a vertical plane parallel to the y, z plane that goes through that point, then we get a curve that goes through the point in the y direction, and it will have a local minimum here. So by calculus one, its derivative will be zero or won't exist. But its derivative is just f sub y at ab. So each of f sub x and f sub y will either be zero or won't exist, which means that either they're both zero or at least one of them doesn't exist. Now to see why the second statement is true, notice that critical points for this graph occur not only at this red peak and at these blue valleys where there are local max and mins, but also at this point here. This point is called a saddle point. A saddle point is a place where f sub x and f sub y are both zero, yet there's no local max or min because the surface curves upwards in one direction and curves downwards in the other. So if you have a critical point, it may not be a local max or min because it might be a saddle or it might be some other oddball feature like this one. In this video, we saw that local max and min values always occur at critical points, but not all critical points correspond to local max and min values.